Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another episode of Hearthstone. We did things a little out of order last time and did an arena run when we should have done it at the first recording session instead of the second. But that has really nothing to do with today's episode where we just do druid and rogue runs. Two victories, maybe we'll challenge some people. If we get those victories done in less than five games, and somebody actually is online, Oh, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I've got a lot of YouTube work I need to do. Valera versus it would Anduin. be so nice to have an editor or a producer, somebody that Watch just your could back. upload all the YouTube stuff. I mean, I've made the decisions already, I know what I want there. I am certainly open to new suggestions but it's just the repetitive nature of it all. Is someone injured? I just want to drag a file into the upload thing and it be done. I don't want to have to fill out page and page of dozens of different checkboxes as it is. In the light's name. And then the the only plugin I've found is TubeBuddy to help you with YouTube. Sorry, I got quiet there. Uh, that's a second conversation I have. Up. Is, Portals but, online. Um, to talk about TubeBuddy is. Up. Portals online. Uh, I can bring this guy out for free, but I don't have a weapon yet, so I'll wait. Um, Problem with TubeBuddy is every single month or so it seems to update, it seems to take features and add features, but it One has the features to the paid version, which the, I don't trust it one second to give it a paid version, it wants a lot of money. Uh, if I got, I suppose, enough donations to the point where spending, I think, like a hundred dollars a year makes sense. I would try it, but their support site doesn't really say that works. I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough oh, mana. Come on. <sighs> Darn it. Do I wanna wait a turn? I don't want to just go. Go ahead and attack the face and end the turn. Uh. Uh. A lot of times with these early characters, they're wasting their cards on one man the characters. But yeah, I might try it if I was just rolling the cash on Tube Buddy and get all of its features. That it claims to offer. That's four. That gets that guy four. Here we Smash go. One in the face. Uh, I wish, however, there was just a free version of something that did some of the things like Tubebuddy does, uh, because they're asking ridiculous amounts. For what what they want. Um, I guess I'm cheap, but I feel like it should be free. I think it should be built into YouTube itself, the ability to copy a card from one episode of the same series to the next episode of the same series. Here we go. I don't think I should have to pay extra money for what should be a basic feature. Uh, uh, copy cards, copy annotations, uh, find and replace things in Someone all of them. Now you can't do a find and replace in YouTube without using this YouTube buddy. But what you have to do is remove everything 
you want all the way to the bottom of your description and then add everything minus the thing you wanted to take out or change I and wonder. add that append it to the bottom so that is effectively find and replace it's just that's a really silly way to do it here we go you. Uh, I can save myself two damage by doing like the blade fury, but then he would be more uh, become stronger. And I don't want to do that. Uh, and even on those, there's a bunch of other features on two buddy that I don't use at all. That. Video the video put promotions where you put uh, that at the bottom. Like, click on this link to see my latest videos type stuff. Do I even really want to do that? I don't know. Let's see, if I do one, that would be cool, but. Here we go. No, I don't want to use my blade fury on it. That would be a waste. Up. Mm, does it does some other things, but not really worth it. Really, this it's not like it's adding a ton of extra features. It's just manipulating and correcting the terrible interface of YouTube. And I think it should be YouTube to just correct itself. enough damage between his 13. 13 and 15, he needs one more damage. And he had five. That was Rogue. We are playing Rogue and Druid again. But, yep. Yeah. So what was the other thing I was going to come to, come back to? Mm. Now I don't remember what I was going to come back to. <laughs> What's the point of me telling myself, remember this so we can come back to that conversation when I can't remember anything? Malfurion at all. Versus Ever. It is what pretty crazy. Uh, I must protect the wild. Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly. Uh, oh, I did have this one thing. Uh, I'm still watching Jim Sterling, who I might, who I have accused of being a potential drama queen and I'll stand by it but he just goes and looks at the worst and the worst of the steam things and I think it would be pretty funny if somebody did a um, like a story or a game or a video where it it revealed that Jim Sterling actually went went crazy and he's making up all these terrible games that he thinks he's uh, looking at and reviewing in his head and in reality there are only good games in the world and he's just in some white padded room hallucinating hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I think that would be pretty funny he'd probably find it pretty funny too yeah. and then you could if you really wanted to relate it go to like his um, Twitter and all of those things and all of his previous things 
and start referencing all the crazy things he sometimes brings up as like uh, doctor's notes. On this day, he started talking about a game like this, and it would be like a a walk through memory lane for him <laughs> while jokingly implying he's doing it to himself, which he is doing it to himself. He absolutely is. He should realize he's doing it to himself. latest when he said that uh, people have started saying Jim Sterling in the comments uh, the forums of Steam pages and they say if you say it three times he will show up like Bloody Mary <laughs> which is ridiculous mm. yes. but I don't know why I even bother watching him it, he, he is kind of funny I'll have to admit I mean he does have a funny persona that occasionally does make me chuckle uh, I wonder one thing I'm really sad about right now is that PT is gone uh, so that concept needs to we need I need a find we as a society needs to find a group of programmers who, grip, who can actually program a game and take the concept of PT remove the Silent Hills elements and say we're gonna make a horror game that is going to be in the same vein as this but not something that could get them sued which would be a fine line. Alright, but having a hallway, a creepy hallway, that repeats itself over and over again shouldn't be something you could sue for it. But who knows if you try. For the wild. And if the group was willing to make that, that would be great. Uh, and they probably need to if you're gonna make a, start a project like that, they probably need to make it so it's open source in the sense that once you get it, it will never go away. Not just by on the by the promises of the creators, but on the fact that if people too many people will have copies of the source code, uh, which is a big ask, because you certainly could go the other direction with it and. Uh, say no, I want to instead sell this and make money off of it. For the wild, uh, which they Job probably done. should sell it to. Uh, uh, I want to do Nevermind when it comes out completely. That that one looks like it's at least an interesting horror concept. I think that. Would would be cool. We have no idea what Silent so Hills itself enough. was going to be. It, uh, I, I bet. Not a morning well, first of all, I don't think Konami had any idea what Silent Hills was going to be. But I bet they would have tried to integrate the repetitiveness of PT. So it might have been that you were in this somewhat small city just going through. Uh, walking down the same street over and over again and it'd be just as repetitive as it is. Uh, and this is so that might have actually not been that good of a game beat it. if you look at it from that perspective Class one last died. let's try this That cost six, I have three. That didn't work too well. Limitless power. Limitless power. For the wild. That game, something like that game should exist. Uh, 
Now, one of the things though on PT was that the graphics were so close, so high end, that you're starting to say a major production company needs to make it. Because if you tried to do PT on low end or Unity graphics, it's just not going to work. I did uh, the PT in Minecraft, and in a lot of ways, it didn't work. It was a fine recreation, but just like the Mona Lisa made it with to toothpicks is not the same as the real Mona Lisa, PT in Minecraft is not the same as uh, uh, the actual Mona Lisa. And by the way, I, it's worth mentioning, you can't, if you delete PT, you can't re-download it. Uh, so it's not even... Uh, that if you never downloaded it, you can't download it. It's you just can't download it ever. Let's see. I've uh, got enough to win this game uh, right here. So for the wild. So yeah, that's just sad. It's real sad. Something that should not happen. It's ridiculousness. One more game to victory. Uh, I want more horror games. I want good horror games. Uh, we haven't had a really good horror game in a while. Uh, last one I remember was the original Dead Space. Uh, maybe you can make an argument for Dead Space 2. I actually Malia, purchased Dead Space 3 and never Andre. even got around to playing it. Life. Which is kind of sad. I have like what? three or four no. Xbox 360 games I bought uh, right at the end of the time when I stopped playing Xbox 360 and never played them. It's silly. Uh, Diablo 3 for the Xbox 360. Another example of that. It's just silliness. In the light's name. When a character is healed, the light warden. Let's see how how are we gonna do this? Hmm. Let's just end our turn. give it three, it still won't be dead, and then he'll just hear it, heal it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Oops. Same mistake. Either way. So it's at four. Give your weapon plus three attack. Come close and listen. Here we go. It's attack. And then our turn. Let us see if this works. I wish I was on my sixth turn so I could play Blade Fury and uh, if this one takes no damage. Oh man. We must That's cleanse no the sun well. Right, so if I do three damage. What can I play? What can I play? Here we go. 
attack this, and then do this. And then end the turn. He's got me down to 11. The gates are open. Play this. Play this. And here we go. Oh, you got me down to five. The gates are open. Let us see if he wins. Alright. If I play this, then summon this. The gates are open. Third time in a row he's summoning the same guys. But, alright. We're down to nine. We summon this. My seal for Argon! And we end our turn. That would actually be a mistake if he attacks with this guy. What he wants to do is attack here to this one, and this one to hmm. this one. Got to get this guy off the board. Here we go. Into the bridge. Oh, of course, this guy's at the start of your turn is gonna hit him and power him up. Next turn, so we'll probably want to get him off the board too, and that'll be difficult. He's gonna do two damage. I want to do more. Maybe this. One. Funny that the druid is doing better than the rogue. Like, what a what a thought it would have been the op other way around. What two thousand two hundred twenty-five? We want to be at forty-six hundred. 
So a thousand uh, one hundred and seventy-five gold is what we're trying Maldurian to get. Valera. What? We no. did spend I must 150 on an the arena wild. run this recording session. I won't probably do an arena run next recording session, but the one after that I will hopefully remember to start one. Then. Right. This would give me a 3 2, or this would give me that. I'll just go ahead and use this. need to get the dragon kin sorcerer out of this deck. I haven't, haven't really spent any extra time on Hearthstone. Trying to get away from Hearthstone. Trying to do more other I'm games. Maybe magic. some more Minecraft. Uh, no, not Minecraft. Minecraft. Have I said made that mistake before? There was a series of people called Minecraft and I am not a part of them. And but I do watch them. So. Um, I might consider being a part of them if they ask me to join, but I don't really have that many view Ready for viewers, action. and I really don't we do must that cleanse much. The sun well. uh, Minecraft. Throw this guy up here, throw this guy up here. Go ahead and kill this guy. Oh, the wild. Watch his face. Uh, I need to finish Plague Inc. Desperately. Uh, I did an episode on Plague Inc. Maybe this was the thing I was talking about. Well, I just obsessively talked about how Plague Inc could be the beginnings of doing uh, where in the world was common San Diego reboot uh, or some game like that I don't think you the license a lot of these old games uh, have gone through so many different companies and somebody owns the copyright but they're never going to do it except for sue people if they tried to do a homebrew type thing and even if you tr had permission from a company to do a homebrew thing. Uh, the company that gave you permission will probably get bought out and sold by some other company that would take away that permission by the time you were done. Uh, that is somewhat of what I think the problem is with a project that was out there to do a new Indiana Jones scum game. And what that is is uh, scum is a style of point and click adventure games that came out a long time ago and uh, stands for script, uh, creation utility for maniac mansion or something like that and there was three very popular Indiana Jones Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis what was the other Indiana Jones movie besides the fourth one, which obviously never did? Point click adventure game to it. Last Crusade, Temple of Doom. Wasn't was there? There's a third movie. The Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. I don't believe they ever made that. For the wild. So, somebody had a project going where they were going to make a new one based on a new story, not the fourth Indiana Jones movie, which 
would be great if all of us forgot ever existed. Uh, and they... I believe they had permission to do this problem. But here's the problem. In the time that they got permission to look the sorts, and still working on the game, LucasArts sold all of the rights of everything to Disney. So, Disney's probably not going to get permission. Probably retroactively For took the it all wild. away. And Job done. Uh, so, it's not like you get a legal contract when you're trying to do a fan-made game. It's not like they're going to say, here's... We'll send you a contract, all you do is sign this, and forever you will have the rights to this, to do what you want to do. It's, it's more a tacit, uh, sure, we'll look the other way, and we promise not to sue you, but in no way can we legally say that we will sue you or protect you from being sued by whatever company you want to buy us. I suspect that's the problem. Cost one less for each minion that's died. I think I'm gonna lose. I think I'm gonna lose here. Let's see, eight plus four is twelve, eighteen. You should have enough to win. Right now. Really? I'm not doing the math very well. Maybe he's got a blade to it. doesn't win this turn, maybe he's just toying with me. But yeah. So on top of a project we need to make a to make a game in the vein of PT, we need a project to make a whole series of Where in the World Carmen, Carmen San Diego games. Uh, updated but in the same concept. And I would be a part of that project if I could help it. But I can't. Not for what I would require. I would be a drain on any team. I would say, okay, well you're taking my time. I would need some of the funds that you got from whatever Kickstarter thing you did. And then... I really can't offer you much more than encouragement and advertisement because I can program a little bit but not very Fair much Jane. not to the point where you I can make for it. As far as I, can. I have back. no idea how you would program in Unreal or Unity or anything like that which would be nice to learn if I had unlimited funds and unlimited free time but, yeah, so I really can't do anything other than say Job other done. people should do that. That's sad. I'll play their games, I'll advertise their games if they came out, but that's all I can do. For a I can't <coughs> Excuse me. can get six 12 damage off of the two uses of it. That's my hope. He plays the coin. Yes, me and Mr. Fight. Okay. Let's see. If 
we play this. Powering up. Portals online. Everything else gets cheaper. We can power that up. We can power this. Come up. close and listen. Well, in their turn. He'll have to use his fire blast and this character to get rid of this one almost certainly. Unless he has a spell card or something that could do three damage. Or two damage and then fire blast. Your magic shall not see silence of minions. That that works too. guys or more of these guys I'll take three more of those how about that Island lover smash in the face here we smash go smash in the face <laughs> micro machine Oh, one of my, one of the TV shows I did enjoy. I caught the second we season. Must cleanse the was sun never well. really able to see the first season. I think I need to go back and look at Hulu. I can't figure out how to use Hulu. I don't think Hulu can figure out how to set itself up so people can use it better. Its whole system is just kind of this ridiculous. Uh, Ring around the rosy. Here we system. go. Job done. Uh, but the name of the show is Hannibal, based on Hannibal Lecter, uh, the series of books, and the Sons of Williams movies. Yeah. But it's a younger version played by a different actor, and um, it's before all of that stuff happens. And it is this amazing, like. We must Dark cleanse the Sunwell type series, and I, I really liked it. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna watch the new one. If I, I can fix I anything, in, which I don't see much like. Um, and it's coming back, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I don't know if there's really that much more that I'm looking forward to as far as TV. Seems like every season there's more and more. I watched Wayward Pines, and because Wayward Pines is like do. 10 episodes long, they, they uh, revealed a lot more than what I thought they were going to reveal in the first. Uh, in the first. One episode. shot, one. probably watch it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be in love with it. What else were we watching? As far as TV? Not a lot. Supernatural. Sticking through with it. Might as well. 
We uh, must they cleanse the sun well. Surprised me a lot in an episode before the last episode, I believe. Uh, poor Felicia Day looks this? like she might not be getting as much work for Supernatural, but that's really not a huge guarantee. Uh, then. Powering up! Portals online! Looks like I'm gonna lose again. How many games have I played? Do I want to do one more game after this, or do I just want to call it an episode? I tried to get into Messengers on the CW, didn't, couldn't get into it. Uh, I am sort of getting into iZombie, but sort of not. I, I am getting into the Flash series, but I could never get into the Green Arrows. So that's a little weird in itself. Um, I guess we'll do one more attempt at the game. Uh, nobody's online, so if we wouldn't be able to send, play extra games even if we had them. Uh, I need people to subscribe a lot more than I need people to follow me. But Melfurian having a few more people follow Jaina. me on Blizzard, the Battle.net stuff, I must would be helpful. I am, I have gotten like four watch and learn. Uh, quests so I think they are gonna keep coming and that means I need people to be online so I can watch them play and win the game and I just want random people to friend me if they want to I have no problem with it uh, I'm not sure if steam is really gonna end up being the center of everything as much as I thought because with the Witcher 3 that's uh, good old games, so it's like good old games is now trying to be a competitor to the Steam, and maybe, maybe it will be. DR3 sounds a lot nicer than For the wild. what Steam does, and Steam seems to be doing a lot of stuff. I imagine it will probably end up, some games I have will be on that, some games will be on Steam, some games will... I'll just have that aren't on either account. Uh, but now that good old games is in beta too. Uh, Bathe in flames. Have an actual client that would allow you to friend people and potentially donate games. That's the that's the part that's the most important. Is that I need assistance, donations in games, and if. Good old games is like Steam that on occasion people will get uh, have extra games or just a reason to uh, donate games to me that helps a lot. I don't have enough and money. That hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I don't have that Where many shall I uh, followers yet. I get it. And of course, I don't want it to go too crazy too. I don't want people donating me a hundred new games every single day that I can't um, play. I j but there are a lot of games that I would like to play that I played on the 360. And if I could take my 360 discs, put them in a PC, and Steam say, "Okay, we now see that you bought this game." That would be awesome. That would never happen, but it would be awesome. Uh, let's see. My seal for Argon. Let's keep on fighting. Here. Hopefully I can win this and it will be done. This is gonna be the last battle, regardless. I'll get the rest I'll get the rest of the stuff <laughs> Just as it is, 
There's no point in killing this guy. There's no point in killing this guy. This one's still gonna be needed to kill the Finn Creeper. I'm hoping The Witcher 3 becomes mm. like the new Skyrim. If we could go a whole year playing it, and people are actually watching a whole year later, that would be great. That would be super great. Having one very popular game that is gonna go on for a long time would solve a lot of things. Alright, so I'm gonna kill all three of these guys. Let's see if I can summon. Nah, that's not what I wanted to happen. It's the opposite of what I wanted to happen. So, Into the breach! Kill this one. Oh. This mistake. Kill this one. For the wild. Kill this one. And it allows me to summon this, but I'm still two one short. If I hadn't used the ability, I would have been able to probably summon both of Servants, soldiers of the cold dark, obey the Awful. This is just downright awful. Summon. Job done. Again. Does he have enough to defeat me this turn? 10 plus 5 is 15, 17, 18. No. Doesn't have enough. The fight! Count me in! Everyone! Get in here! If he doesn't attack with this and die, he'd have to use several of these. Well, I'm helping. I'm helping him. <laughs> Look at that. 30 to 0. One left. If I could do, let's see, this guy. Everyone, everyone, in here, in here. That does. 
didn't summon any new guys because he was full. Interesting. How these things work sometimes make no sense. Ah, uh, get behind me. Oh, this is awful. This is gonna toy with me, isn't he? Keep playing. We're gonna be done with this episode soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else is on TV that I really watch. It's less and less every season, and I could, I could get maybe just the prime time stuff and over the air and be fine. That. Cards does you have left? 11 versus 13. Can I figure out some trick to make him draw a bunch of cards? I don't think so. Do I have any card that would actually help? Starfall could do two damage to enemies. Uh, Hogger might work a little bit, but probably not. Power of the Wild. Thing I could even do that would have me win, but it seems to be letting this go to the end. We might as well see it out. Like see it at the very end, just out of gratitude. It's not very likely, but it's possible. Got me th over such a barrel.
snakes. It has to be snakes. Five cards left. Damage to them. Do one damage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had like one thing that would kill this guy. Uh, there might be a chance, but this Starfall would do five damage to him. But that's it. I'd need a second Starfall to get rid of all these other guys. Wouldn't it be funny if he played something like Oblivion or Brawl and left me with one taunt guy and killed all his guys? And then he was out of characters and couldn't draw anymore. Got one card. playing all his cards apparently. Might turn into a mistake. It's not likely to turn into a mistake, but it might. <laughs> I'm almost out of cards. Could be this is actually a bot. Program never to actually win. This is certainly the long way. I don't think it's probably that entertaining either. I think at this point I might have I should have conceded 20 turns by. Um, there definitely is a difference between recording for YouTube and playing with your with unlimited amount of free time. Not of cards. That's his last card. So if we could get rid of everybody on this field, that might work. But there's no way. That was my last character. I'm gonna run out of cards to two draws. I'm almost out of cards. And because of that. about to lose in two turns. If this is the, what is that one called, ice block, uh, s secret, 
Uh, I wonder. Would the ice block be triggered on the fatigued? Is the question. What to do? I'm out of cards. Go in the turn. So next turn I draw Thank one damage. You. you would take four damage. And he's not gonna let me win. No surprise there. Oh well. Oh, by the way, if you do make it to rank 20, you will get a ninja card at the end of this month. Turns out, according to one of the updates. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, sorry that went long. I will get this last victory offline, um, off recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want. To to let me know if you appreciate going till the end of the game or if I should have just conceded um, and watch every second of my videos all that helps me out if you want to support me click on my name right oh on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel if you want to follow or friend me on practically any social media site all that information is down below thank you for watching have a good evening